But how do you see Jesus? Jesus is a prophet. Prophet. What do you know? You know about Islam? Just like Muhammad, exactly. What's your name? In English, they say H. Where are you from, H? Romania. Romania, if you don't mind. So my name is Aziz. So in Islam, what we, you know, you know the belief, Islam, right? Yes, you believe in uh, Muhammad as a prophet and the difference I think is between Jesus. Even if it's mentioned more time Jesus than Muhammad, even in Quran, I think. I'm not sure because I, you I've know, never read it. I've never read it. <coughs> My parents are ultra Christian, like ultra Christian. Yeah. I cannot convert to Muslim. I was thinking because I've seen in Muslim, there's a big difference which I really love and appreciate. Is the thing in, for example, you have a T-shirt that says uh, in Romania, let's say, in, or America. In Romania, yeah. you have a T-shirt that says God is gay. Yeah. Nothing will happen to you. You will get beaten up. But if you say we on t-shirt, sorry if I say it, but if you say Allah is gay on a t-shirt and you go in, you will get killed. And I respect this because you, you really believe, you have this really trust in your beliefs and I really appreciate it. And I see the difference between your religion is better than our religion. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So in terms of social guidance, Islam gives solution for the problem. Like society has a lot of issue at the moment and in in a different perspective different areas and islam of a solution and uh, we believe that heavenly law heavenly law means the law come from god yes it is the solution for everyone okay yes i was thinking you know look if who is our creator allah yeah. do you agree do you have any doubt god allah is the same right well, you can refer to allah allah is the name of the god right yeah. he doesn't have a son He's independent. I don't know about this. I, I don't know. I, I didn't read the Bible. I didn't read the Quran. Okay. Read let me show you a. Let me show you something and see if that makes sense to you. Okay. So that's four lines. So this is the definition of God. God is one. Yes. One absolute. God is eternal refuge. Means he's always there, and everything in the creation depend upon him. And God is independent, means he doesn't need to eat, sleep and drink. Yes. He's like not a human being, he's like something divine. You yeah. cannot think about it. Exactly, exactly. It's like but something you cannot imagine. Now, Some if God. someone say Jesus is God, that Jesus is eating food, right? Do you agree? Yes, yes, he eats food. Yes. He goes rest. Yes. But the creator, Allah said, La ta khuzu So not sure if that it says in the Bible. I'm not because I didn't read it. I told you I cannot argue with you. Maybe you're right. Maybe I don't know. What I am saying, forget about. Just think about. You wake up in a desert. Imagine, just yes. say, and you looking a rational mind without a prejudiced mind. What does it mean? Means you don't impose any external influences to make your decision. You are a rational being. Whenever you buy a jacket, you go to three shop. Then you check, okay, this shop, this is the price, this is the price, this is the same product, this yes. different price. Then you apply your rational judgment, your rational faculty. Yes. I am telling you, the creator telling in this book, apply your rationality. He is not telling you to believe something, he is forcing you to believe. Yes. You will come to conclusion once you rationally look into it. So Allah is saying, who created the heavens and the earth? Allah, who created you like from your mother's womb? Who? Allah. Allah created Jesus too. Yes. Moses. Yes. So they can't be God because they are creation. I don't think that's. I, I completely disagree with Christians that pray to Jesus. I correct. Correct. So we, we agree. We I, agree I with you. Somehow, I think maybe. I don't even know how to think about it, but. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. <laughs> See, yeah, you're so right. it's uh, rationally. So if you come rationally, we should worship the creator of Jesus and creator of everything else. So the Allah, the Lord we are talking about, he is the creator of everyone. Moses, Jesus, Abraham, and everything, all the creation into in the universe and everything else. I have one question that I'm really curious about. But does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Yeah. But here, we are talking about 
for me, in my mind, maybe I'm stupid. I'm only 22 years old. No, no, that's okay. No, no, no. Old, that's so okay. I'm not no thinking problem. Thinking a lot about religion. It's not my at uh, the moment, you know. So I'm thinking like this. It's good force. This is good force. There's only the difference between us is the religion, but we're good forces. Whatever it is, there's something good. You, if you, even if you read the Bible, if you read the Quran, it's the same good. Maybe you have more. Uh, uh, better way to explain something maybe I don't think I don't know yeah you have a better way to explain both have sense in my head because everything is good you have to act on a good way on a good path I don't think it you have to be a Muslim or a Christian you have to be good as a person and as you as believing God or Allah is a good picture so the problem that I have is between these two religions because uh, my English is kind of bad. That's okay. No, no. It is fully clear. I can understand. Uh, for example, in Muslim, if I would go Muslim, I cannot call myself a Muslim if I'm still drinking beer. I cannot call myself a Muslim. It's like disrespectful to my name. Because I see other Muslims that are really respectful for their religion. If I'm going to say, hey, from now on I'm going to be Muslim and I'm going to convert. But I still have the same uh, vicious for drinking because I like it. Even if I'm wrong, I like it. I have this free choice. I have this free choice. You know what I'm saying when I'm trying to go. I have this free choice. Even if I, I say I'm Christian, I have this free choice. So I have more vicious stuff to do. If I say I'm Christian, I would have more vicious stuff to do. Even if it's wrong. And that's the thing that I have, I have in my head. It's kind of complicated to find God. It's way complicated to find God. You are all like a brotherhood. That's what I appreciate it. And I would like yeah. to convert somehow to Muslim. Mm -hmm. But now I have to do, do like somehow my research. I have to read the Quran and the Bible first thing. I cannot convert to Muslim. I, ca I cannot call myself a Christian either. Because I, I haven't read the Bible. So mm -hmm. I cannot say I'm well, I'm Christian. Yeah. I haven't read it. I haven't read the Quran and the Bible. But I believe in God. Okay. Even if it's Allah or uh, God, I think I believe in a good force, in the force we both agree. Mm. So I think um, you mentioned quite a few points. We believe there is only one truth. There can't be multiple truths. You cannot say Christianity and Islam both are true at the same time. Do you know why? One believe, one believe something, another believe completely opposite. So we say, exactly. So now, can I say the both same? No. Now, Allah, so you have one, so you have, let's say, two books. One book says God is one and independent. He doesn't need to eat food. And he provides everything. And you cannot compare anything with God. This is one good. You put a tick. You have another book. God is three in one. Trinity, within an Islamic, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the Christian belief, okay. where God is all powerful, Jesus is a human being, and Holy Spirit, there is three, not all powerful, right? Because Jesus, when you, when he's a human, can he be all powerful? No. Yeah, I've, I've seen somebody that said it's like kind of disrespectful to say that Jesus is the Son of God. So what in Bible, the Son of God means the representative of God. So that's why you will see David was mentioned as Son of God. Abraham mentioned as Son of God. There are a lot of Son of God in the Bible. But when we say biological Son of God or begotten Son of God, then we are doing blasphemy against God. Because God's... He, God doesn't have a wife. He's not like a family, like no, us. You know how exactly. He's not like a man, and that's what Quran confirms. Exactly. So Allah is saying he neither begets nor born. Means he doesn't have a father, neither he has a son. So we think everything is like a creation. You know, family. This is how creation. The creator is not like the creation. And then Allah is saying. You cannot compare anything with God. Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Now, which definition of God makes sense? Islamic or Christian? Islamic. Islam. So, now, based on that, can you call both religions same? Look, 
But this is this is the thing. It's, only it's a black and white. It's yes, a black and white. It's only the argue between hey, what's the Jesus and the, the Muhammad? Uh, religion thinks about this and things. I basically yeah you yeah you're right. You're right. Your rational, you know, right, your right, your rationality. Right, right. My brother, I'm not forcing you. No, I'm but saying. Right. I was speaking twice. Exactly. I was speaking, so I to argue and I was thinking, no, 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 no. I, I think you know you are a humble man and I respect you, and you know you have a open hearted. You are very open hearted, and I ask God that God guide you because I cannot guide you. God is the one who can guide him. You basically. So, you know that the concept of faith is, is completely opposite, right? And Islamic concept of faith makes sense. And if you look at the Islamic teaching, you are actually in love with Islamic teaching, as you are mentioning earlier, that Islam gives boundaries so that it can fix all this issue. Also, you look at last Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God sent him the last and final messenger. Why? To me, guide me and you. So what did he, the first thing he say? He said, don't worship anything beside God. You know, at the moment, all over the world, the biggest things people do is worship other than God. You know, people worshiping money. People worshiping Jesus, people worshiping money. So people worshiping their sports means they exaggerately in love with those things. Yes, they should have the given. Phone, even the phone, you, you have more time on the phone than even thinking about. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, I understand. So Islam comes and tells us, look, reject all those false notions, reject all the false ideas, reject all the false god, reject all the conception in your head, and then you submit to the one who can really help you. When you die, when you die, do you take anybody with you in grave? You go alone and then you will face God. Angel will ask you a question. You know, there will be three questions asked. Three questions asked. Yes, angel will ask you three questions. Angel will ask you, who is your God? Then if you truly worship Allah, you will be able to answer it. Then angel will ask you, who is your prophet? If you truly follow Islam, you will be able to answer it. And Allah will ask you, what is your religion? You will be able to say Islam if you follow it. You cannot just memorize it and think that, oh, okay, let me memorize it. And I will say it to angel and I'm pa I'll pass the test. You see? So, we have to prepare ourselves. This life is a test. And Allah's messengers, Muhammad peace be upon him, and all the other messengers preceded him. They came with one message, and the message is, do not worship the false god. That includes man, like Christian, they're worshiping Jesus. Some people are worshiping desire, as I mentioned. Some people are worshiping money, women, and everything else. Some people even worship in too much love with Netflix. Yeah, some people worshiping sports because you know they cry sometimes exaggeration of love yeah somehow i think the world the world is kind of tricky because i see some things like uh, powerful people they are running the world mm. uh, honestly i don't know what the jews believe in but i know the jews most of the jews are running the this world and like thinking they are the chosen of god i don't know about i don't know just you know base knowledge about this kind of stuff i don't know a lot so i'm not an expert I'm just telling you what I, uh, I kind of heard. So, when I see all these people, they are already in money. Already, I also see some sneaky guy that make some money and they are helping their family, which I kind of agree because it's love. But there's one trick that I also noticed. They are making money and they are uh, glad that they made the money. It's not that maybe Allah bless their mind to make the money. As you said, I say it's in God, but Allah for me. So as, as you mentioned, you know, people are worshipping things, their desire, money and all of these things. And we can see, and we can see the action of devil, just like you mentioned before, right? Only true liberty, you know, true freedom is comes when you reject 
all this enslavement like money reject of you know you can earn money i'm not saying you have to you know detach worldly life no 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 what we are saying islam gives you guidance it tells you worship the true god the one who giving yeah, you yeah. giving you everything otherwise you will be ungrateful imagine just think about your life the blessing of your life yeah. who's giving you this beautiful life Is he asking any money from you? No. Is he asking any direct debit? He has not set up a direct debit, right? So, so what does he want then? To believe in him. Number one, you answered. To worship him. We are giving away Quran. You answered. And then, in order to do these two, we give away Quran, which is a very simple. You have to me follow messenger and book. Yeah, that's that's the step where I'm at now. So now, so do you believe you believe in Allah, right? Yeah, you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God. I don't know about it. It makes sense. It makes sense. But I cannot choose just by the way of saying. Even if you're right, I know you're right. Yeah, no, no. I want you to investigate. Yeah. Also, I have to read. Yeah. I have to read it and make my own decision. Yeah. One second. Um. G g no, 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 shall I give you a book or? No, please, because I'm going and we all gonna die. Do you, wanna, do you have a phone with you? I can give you a book, you can read it. The book called Sealed Nectar, S-E. Sealed Nectar? Do you want me to type it for you? Yeah, sure. It's very simple. This world was created by something. Sorry. Well, that makes sense, yes. So this book, yeah, you can find it in PDF, yeah? Is it in English? Yeah, it's, no, it's in English, yeah. Okay, so this will cover the biography of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Actually, the purpose, everybody has a purpose. Our purpose okay. is to... Uh, so this is like the Quran? Recognize. No, no, no. Oh, this right. is the biography of Prophet. Yeah, Quran is this one. Shall I give you Quran? Pocket size. No, you can put it on your bag, no? Uh, okay, no problem. Yeah. So one thing but make sure you can get a copy for yourself. I will really have to read both of them. I acknowledge him. Yeah, yes, so, so, so I'm somehow on the right yeah, path, but I, I, I'm confused. I don't know where I should go. Because that's right, that's I have two choices between Christian or uh, Muslim. You don't have Christianity any choice anymore. Do you know why? I, I don't have any. So. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. Because you, you already know that a man can be God. And a million, million years, if you apply your rationality, you no human being cannot fathom with rational mind that a man is God. A man should be worshipped. Do you see? We should worship. So, Quran gives an interesting. Allah said, you know, do not worship the sun nor the moon, but the worship the one who created both. Means Allah, the Quran constantly reminding you who is your maker. You have identified who is your maker. So you are not in confusion. Yeah, no okay, so you are firm. You just need to know about Muhammad. Yeah, that's the only thing. And that's why I want you to read. And this book is a brilliant book. I don't, I know, yeah, yeah, because I don't want to say too much information. I just wanted you to have that information about oneness of God. And Islam gives you that true monotheism that, inshallah, means God willing, He will lead you to come to Islam. Say inshallah. You know what insha inshallah means? Yeah, uh, I hope it will. God willing. I know mashallah is such a uh, good news. Good news. Yeah. And we say assalamu alaikum. You know that? Yeah. Do you know what assalamu alaikum means? Hello, my brother. <laughs> no, no, no. It means may peace be upon peace be on you. Peace be on you. Yeah. Another way I'm saying. May God take your stress away. So imagine every moment you see someone and you're referring that may God take stress away from you. Can you find any other better example of greeting? Look at that. Even it's beautiful. Like, you know, it tells, you know, even when you eat, when you eat, imagine you, you got an apple from the Sainsbury. Beautiful apple. 
Who created apple? When you bite it, you find taste. Yeah, nice, beautiful, crunchy, juicy. Can you create apple? So when you buy this apple, you actually didn't pay for the apple money. You pay for the packaging and they because nobody can grow that. Yeah. Allah said, Afara aitu ma ta harusun. In Quran, Allah said, When you plant a seed, do you grow it or I am the grower? Yes, Allah is telling us, reminding us. So then, whenever you enjoy those things that Allah has given you, you remember me on thanks. That's why when we eat anything, we say Bismillah. Do you know why? We say in the name of God, Allah. Why? Allah is the Allah is the owner. So look. It's so practical and it makes sense. And Islam in teaching has, if we look at rationally, the concept of belief, it makes more sense. As you demonstrated, I've demonstrated, you agree. Now, all is needed. Need to read about Muhammad, peace be upon him. Read from Islamic sources. There are a lot of anti Islamic sites. No, no, no. You can go for Islam Kiwi. There is a site called Islam Kiwi. If you have any question, type it there. We also here. So if you can come any Friday, we are here. We can have a discussion. Yeah. Anyway, it was nice. To, it was a pleasure talking to you. But you know, take this message um, as seriously because you know this life is short. We can't guarantee, I but I, I, stopped. I was walking down yeah. way, I was thinking to refuse you because I've been stopped by a lot of people. You know, yeah. so, okay, I, but you know, I, Islam I is already on your heart. You are a, a step away from Islam. You know it deep down. But don't make too late. You know why? Because we don't know when we die. Yeah, the day will come. And, 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 and brother. Islam tells us simple things. Islam is not like you can pass your sin to someone. You will be, Allah said, Wala taziru wazira Every soul has to bear their own accountability. Means everything you do, you'll have to account for. So we have to prepare ourselves. You don't want to wake up in the day of judgment and in the regret that, oh, I forgot to done that. You don't want to be in a part of regret. So you have to accept and submit to Allah. In that way, you can attain mercy of God, which Allah will, you know, allow you to. You know, do you remember we talked about the question in the grave? You will be able to answer it. Okay. Okay. So we have to prepare for our journey. You know, society tells you, don't talk about religion, don't talk about politics. Do you know why? Because they're trying to hide the truth. Hide the truth, exactly. And as a smart man like you, you know Islam is truth. It will, it will make you independent. It, it will give you true liberty. Why? Because it will free you from the slavery of the society and the false god that chained us. And that will, Islam will take you out of that chain and give you true liberty because you will only worship Allah and you are will be you will be his command means he is your protector nobody gives you this life everything was given by Allah so you should turn to him for your help nobody else anyway my brother it was nice talking to you very nice bye we'll we'll catch up another time I'll promise I'll try to yeah look after yourself you have the book anyway